So recently I did an FRP job at work. And it was an it was a pretty big job, you know, 120 sheets, maybe more. And once we got done, just for kicks and giggles, I just looked up how to do FRP. You know, like tutorials and stuff. And what I found was uh interesting to say the least. So quite often I hear that FRP jobs can get messy and you know, you get glue all over your arms and all over your hands and you know all over your tools and stuff and it gets all messy and you know the dust when you cut the FRP it gets everywhere and it's let me say this there's a way easier way to do FRP without any mess and here's how you do it so before we start, we need a few things. First, you'll need glue and a trowel. You'll also need a sponge and a bucket of water. And it's good to have a plastic paddle and a glue lid to clean up the trowel after you're done. Lastly, you will need a ruler. Without further ado, let's get started. So first, I take a big glob of FRP glue and I just smear it on the wall. And I just take a little bit off of that and I get all my edges first. That way I can work from the outside in. After I get all the edges done, then I just fill in the empty space. Don't forget to be generous with the glue. You don't need a ton of glue on the wall, just enough to fill the gaps. Same thing for the bottom, it's a little easier to do now without having to be on a ladder. Make sure when you're applying the FRP glue, you use the rake part of the trowel. So when you put the sheet on, the glue can fill the spaces and have better adhesion. Once the FRP glue is installed, now it's time to get to the sheet. This is a full 10 foot sheet of FRP. And it's always good to have a second person help you with installing these bigger sheets. Simply slide it in the divider bar at the top and just work your way down. Once you get in the divider bar, you just have to slide the sheet down until it hits the floor. And just like that, the FRP sheet is installed. Can you believe it? It was awesome. Next, I roll the sheet on the wall. That way, the glue gets in all the crevices and it sits nice. Plus, I will do this rather than smacking the wall and rubbing it. A little bit easier with the roller. After that, I just take the sponge and some water and I clean the FRP sheet just so it looks nice. And there you have it. You have a clean sheet of FRP without any messes. So you're probably thinking, so we know how to install the FRP, we know how to glue the wall. How do you cut the FRP? Because you said it, you can do this without any mess, right? Yeah. There's a lot of different ways to cut the FRP, but I personally think that this is the best method. So personally, I love using a router. It's just clean and easy, and you don't have a ton of dust flying in the air. This is our piece that we're gonna be cutting. So after measuring my sheet for length, I simply put a plank of wood underneath the FRP and clamped it and used it as a guide for my router. Next, I simply cut the FRP sheet with the router. Notice how there's little to no dust being flung up. Just like that, 
super simple and you get a nice clean edge. Next I just put my divider bar in before I glue and again I take a big glob of FRP glue start on my edges and work my way in. After I glue the wall, I then take my end cap and I cut it for length. Then I take my FRP sheet, glide it into the corner, and then I start on one corner of the divider bar to work my way up. Then for this one, I didn't need a roller because it was small enough. So I just pressed up and smacked it a little bit and it was good to go. And just like that, super simple, super clean, and it just looks nice. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. Let me just make a comment, this is not the perfect way, this is not the only way, this is just the way that I do it, and I find the easiest to do. But feel free to do it, whatever method you think is best for you. Let me know in the comments section below if this tutorial was helpful for you, and I'll see you guys in the next video.